Today I am going to unbox yet another Chinese X99 motherboard and this one is Machinist X99 MR9D. As you can see the motherboard came to me in this cardboard box with a no plastic bubble wrap at all. Nevertheless, the box doesn't seem to be damaged in any way, so it shall be pretty safe to transport like this, at least to Sweden. Here you will find the usual machinist sealing label. I don't know why it is here, but they have started to add it. Inside the main box we are getting another box, so that probably explains why we do not need the bubble wrap, because it is a double box packaging, which is rather safe. Inside the box I here see one SATA cable and the motherboard itself. Let me take it out. And under the motherboard there is IO shield. The motherboard anti-static bag also has this uh, warranty seal label. It's rather annoying actually. And here we have the motherboard itself. Judging by the number of SATA ports as well as USB 3.0 ports, I can say that it is most likely X99 or C612 chipset. Other than that, the layout is very similar to Huanangzhi X99 F8, 8 slots for DDR4 memory, 3 PCI Express X16, 2 PCI Express X1, the chipset is over here, then we have USB 3, USB 2 header, 4-pin fan header, 3-pin fan header, this is probably COM port or something like that. Front I.O. is over here, audio over here. Here is the 4-pin fan header for the CPU, one more 3-pin fan header, and here is one extra 3-pin fan header. Unfortunately, the VRAM heatsink comes with this annoying fan, which is probably going to rotate at a constant speed and a constant annoying sound. For the M.2 slots we have one over here for the SATA SSDs, one over here for the NVMe SSDs and one under this one for the Wi-Fi expansion cards. Quick look at the backside I.O. and here we see PS2 ports, 4 USB 3 ports, 4 USB 2 ports, 2 Ethernet ports and 7.1 audio. The VRM doesn't seem to be impressive at all, but I will need to remove the heatsink to figure out what uh, MOSFETs are used over there and how many phases are implemented there. Overall the motherboard feels uh, rather nice and it also looks pretty nice. Let's take off the ring and check out the motherboard socket to see if there are any damaged pins. The socket seems to be undamaged, every pin seems to be where it's supposed to be and I don't see any bent pins, so there shall be no problem, or at least I hope so. And that's it for this video. If you're interested to see full detailed review of Machinist X99 MR9D, then follow me on my main YouTube channel and the review will be available there.